This is a little lock and it says so JB. It. JB loves CT. What are you going to do with it? Look. Oh, I see. Yeah. Look at that. Now, we're locked there now, forever and ever. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice view, isn't it? So if we ever come back, it'll still be there, won't it? When we were in Dubai, me and Johnny, Johnny had uh, Bobby, who was like his his, uh, his mate there, and I didn't really have my Megan, but my Megan is here now. On your other channel, yeah. there's, there's videos of us, the second we met, it was like... Yep, literally. In February. February, and it's now August. And we're even going on a double date. Yeah, oh my God, I can't wait for that. We need to vlog that, you know, vlogging that. And we're so excited, because like, we just always wanted to go on a double date and now we can because my Johnny's here and your Andrea's here. I've never been on a double date with Johnny before. Anyway, back to manifesting. So what have you got? What's this? See it? Turn it around. Grom. What is Grom? It's the best ice cream in, that I've ever had. One thing I've noticed about Italian ice cream is they always have to come in two or three flavours. Oh my god. Whatever happened to everywhere. just having one flavour of ice cream? It's always two or three. Well, Why is that? One is not enough. In you the Italian mindset, yeah. sure. Anyway. So. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, we got to get home, right? Because this is melting and you've got to have some. It looks very just nice. Over there, I've never the tried it. That's our apartment over there, the one behind the scaffolding. And by the way, it's a really cool, not very hot night for a change. It's been so bloody hot, hasn't it? It has. And tonight it's just normal. And still the ice cream is melting very quickly. Look at that. And this here is a pile of books. Just a random pile of books in the street. Anything else you want to say about the ice cream? It's melting. And this here is a coupe, not to be confused with a co-op. It's not actually a co-op, it's a coupe. But that is where we go for all of our food, isn't it? When it's open. And we get this really nice chicken. Only when it's open. Yeah. And we get chicken every day. Because they like to close for about three hours for their siesta. Oh my God. Every afternoon. And that's really melting quite this. a lot. Yeah. Anyway, let's go and eat Grom. Bye. So Kahina's gonna light one of these candles. It's kind of like making a little wish because I'm not religious. So. What are you wishing for? It's a secret. Luckily. Oh my god. You're a magician. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Do I make a wish? Well, you can make a wish or a prayer or... Can I wish for something? Yeah. Okay. Whatever you like. Closer to her. Yeah. You hear that? Hear you... my wish, please. Very nice paintings and statues. He does 
must love a good statue. And he would love a good statue. Eliza. Hi. <laughs> She's back. My all time favourite photographer. <laughs> Who will one day be a celeb. Of course. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, but today, uh, me and uh, Johnny, she's doing, taking some pictures of me and Johnny. Look how beautiful you look there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> and uh, there he is. Uh, Hi. Uh, Mañana de Café. <laughs> coffee. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, my God. This is like per Perugia's dog. It literally just goes Why where it wants. Why does he have a watch on? He's got a watch on. <laughs> it's so strange. He needs to know the time. And it's just everywhere. Like we saw it five minutes ago at the very top of Perugia and now it's here at the bottom. Hello. So he doesn't have an owner then? I've never ever seen him with an owner, but he obviously someone put a watch on him. He didn't do that himself. Oh. I think he needs a haircut though, it's a bit Yeah, a bit, a bit hot. hot. Uh, I think so. Uh, we give him Paroski. Give him Paroski? Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it'd be like this. I, I thought it'd be no. like, Privyet Kagdila, and then you'd say something and be like, oh great, I can't respond. It's alright. So you, you can, you can. I learn on Duolingo, so my speaking and my listening is crap. It's just all about learning the grammar. Though. Can roll the R's. We need to roll the R's, right? Yeah. How is he doing with his Russian? Do you think? Is he all right? Yeah. Yes. I'm a beginner. She's being polite. I'm a beginner. Eliza's from Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> I know all the bad words. Yeah. Of course you do. Bad words. <laughs> well, I know pista, of course. <laughs> and, um, uh, what did he teach me? Um, Everyone knows blood. Blast us all. Yeah, blast. yeah. Blast. <laughs> it's, it's a the great first, word. The first words. He knows everyone and he needs only two. How are you? Are you okay? Are you having a good day? <laughs> I was just interviewing you. Oh, All right. Come yeah. on, you. Are you having a nice day? Yeah, it's good weather. Good. The temperature's just right today. Yeah. Yeah, we just had a coffee. Yep. And we're here, look, in this very nice street. Look, Italy is so beautiful, right? Oh, it's so nice. And then a random ant. Just, why? Why have you ruined the building? <laughs> so when you go to a, a new country, it's really easy to learn a language in the supermarkets because everything is just written with pictures. And when I was here before, this is one of the ways that I picked up some words. Just supermarkets. This is John. John likes stepping on crunchy leaves. He doesn't like literally so many other things. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> so you can start to see the people in the background staring at so us. So funny, they're looking it's at really, us really weird. because this is the scene, right? Uh. So this is a really super special place to me because... It's your manifesting spot, right? It's just such a calm, beautiful place and I come here, I used to come here every single day when I lived in Perugia before. Yeah, it's a really nice spot because, yeah, that view is amazing. We just thought, where better place to do our ironing board thing than uh, on the side of a mountain? And what have we got? Panino and a panino. panino. And here is your Tabasco. I like Tabasco and I like Ichnusa. It's my favourite beer in Italy. And that's our favourite chocolate muffin. This is our fourth ironing board meal, isn't it? Our fourth one? Yeah. The first one was just in the garden. Mm -hmm. Then During lockdown. Then we did one in a tree house, mm -hmm. each time on an ironing board. And if you've seen our other videos on Joko, you, you would have seen that we did one in the desert, which was a bit crazy because it was too windy. And now we've and just now, got an audience. Yeah, and now <laughs> this one's just weird because there's people like staring at us. There's the view. 
There's the meal, and now we're going to eat it. We did uh, a couple of Polaroids look because we're just ridiculously cute and a bit teenage. Oh, look at us. Good night, Barucha. Hi. Just found a mirror in a shop window. And, uh, hi. You know I love, you know I love snacks, right? Yeah. Well, I also love street art. Wow, well, this is the right street for you, then. Yeah. That's so cool. The street art. Fantastic. Really nice. I told you you would like the street. It yeah, really reminds nice me street. of um, the North Lanes in Brighton. Okay, babe, this is the wine bar I was telling you about. And look, they've got some outside seating. And there's a piano in there. That's cool. We have a man just watching the world go by. See, that's the alternative to uh, CCTV cameras. In Italy, they don't have CCTV cameras. They just have um, old guys watching you. The window. <laughs> okay. Some very nice wine. Yeah. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Some wine, and meanwhile, a car comes <laughs> past, almost runs over your toes. Mm. Interesting place. I really love this street art. Quirky, isn't it? Yeah. Just like me. Yeah. Have you had a good night, darling? Yeah, have you? Yeah, it's Actually, nice. it's pretty memorable, isn't it? Dinner on an ironing board with an absolutely amazing view. And then a wine yeah. bar. A wine bar? Down a quirky little Italian street. What more could you want? That's a good night. And this is our street we live on. And that, yeah, if you can see the scaffolding. Scaffolding. It's quite hard to see it, but, oh, there we go. If you see that scaffolding there, <laughs> that's our apartment just behind all the scaffolding. You've got to be okay with steps in Perugia. got to be okay with it. If you're not okay with hills and steps, Perugia is not the place. Yeah.